morning, everybody. Well, I am absolutely delighted on behalf of Stage Centre to be hanging out virtually with the fabulous guys from across the ditch from Potted Potter. Good morning, guys. How are you going? Morning. Yeah, very good. Thank you. Yeah. Very well. yes. yes. How are you? Welcome down under. Oh, cheers. Glad you, glad you could make it across. <laughs> well, we're actually, we've kind of come up. Well, that's all, true. Yeah, so we're already done it and we've popped yeah. up a little bit, yeah. So, well, uh, that's true. That's true. That's true. We're just so used to saying it. Well, in in these times, it's really good to be able to just get anywhere. To be honest, isn't it? So we're we're delighted to have you. We're going to be talking about your gorgeous show. Could you just just introduce yourselves to our stage center viewers? Oh, for sure. Hi, hey, I'm, I'm I'm Adam Brown. Uh, I uh, I play the role of of Harry Potter in the show, I'm Potted, Potted One. And uh, my name's Tama Jarman and I play everyone else. There's <laughs> 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 not really balance, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, we can't wait to see you in Canberra, but you are opening first uh, at the Seymour Centre on the 22nd of June, isn't that right? That's right, yes. Yeah, so you're all getting ready to go and I believe we are very lucky because we in Australia have got you for five tour dates where Potter Potter isn't occurring anywhere else in the world at the moment unfortunately. Because mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah. of uh, it that shall not be mentioned. Mm -hmm. Yes mm -hmm. so we won't mention that either because we are going to have a beautiful seamless run for Potted Potter. I'm really looking forward to seeing you in Canberra when you get here. So excited. Now, guys, I have to tell you, I've come a little bit prepared. <clears throat> so, yeah, we, we've got all kinds of things going on here in our house. Oh, so, so, yeah. we've been eating uh, a lot of food. <laughs> so, will, will we be seeing any of, of these things? <laughs> In yeah. your show? Yeah, yeah, they might they might look a little bit different, but yeah, yeah, you'll be seeing a couple of those. Yeah. Well, and and any of this? Uh, we've we've got yeah. Mm -hmm. So a bit of a fan of Harry Potter in our family. I'm oh. not gonna I'm not gonna put on this because it's it's not a good look. Oh yes. See what it says. Yeah. Chuck it on and see what it says. Oh god, too late, too late. <clears throat> So tell us about your show. I'm just fascinated, having not seen it. And as you can see, coming from a household that's a little bit Harry Potter crazy, my children have read all the books back to front, still walk around listening to the audio books. How on earth do you fit all of that into 70 minutes? Uh, okay, so you can't really do all the books justice oh. <laughs> if you're going to do it in 70 minutes. No, we give it a good shot, but, though. Yeah, we give it a really good crack. We try and tell you pretty much everything you, we think you need to know mm -hmm. and, and nothing more. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. So for those who aren't Harry Potter fans, will they still enjoy it? Yeah, absolutely. Well, I'm, I'm not a Harry Potter fan. Yeah, oh. Hammer loves it. He keeps <laughs> talking about it. But yeah, absolutely. I mean, because the cool part is, is that, like I said before, you know, we give you everything you need to know. All seventy, all seven books in seventy minutes. And it's just, if you if you don't know the Harry Potter books by the uh, at, at the start of the show, then you'll know it by the end. So for those people who just don't think that they could chew through seven books, this is probably a really efficient way to to start claiming that you know something about Harry Potter. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, pretty. Yeah, <laughs> actually, yeah, you, you could call yourself an expert at the end of it. Oh, you right? could. You could. <laughs> so, how long have the two of you been performing in the show? Mm. We um, we jumped on board in 2020, actually, in oh. Thomas and North in Aotearoa. <clears throat> they, the company down there, Centerpoint, um, got us on board, and we jumped on for that season, and then we brought it back again the next year, and now here we are in Australia. Mm. Yeah. Oh, thank and thank goodness for that. We are so enjoying. Um, feel a little bit guilty in some ways for, for enjoying what other people across the world can't, but we are really enjoying the theatres being open, mm. you know, getting around to, to see these beautiful shows. And um, and I think Australians, for the, the largest part, are, are very supportive of the return to theatre and, and um, we encourage you all to be supportive uh, out there. <laughs> yes, send them some love. The boys, you know, they've come all this way to bring us this Harry Potter joy. Um, what, what else would you like to, to share with us about the show? Why should people come and see it? And who should see it? 
Uh, everyone and their dog, really. I think. <laughs> King uh, depending on the venue, is the yeah. dog uh, depending? Yeah, we're not yeah. too sure if you can bring all your dogs. Yeah. Maybe <laughs> a little one, like a schnauzer or something. But, handbag um, or something. Hey, any yeah. big ones? Yeah, no. Yeah, maybe small. not. But but pretty much everyone, really. Honestly, the, it's like a it's it's very fr family friendly. Uh, there's plenty there for kids, plenty there for adults. Mm. Uh, I don't. I think it, it, pretty much anyone who comes will find something to like about the show at the end. And it's clearly apart from uh, apart from Hufflepuff fans, yeah. maybe. Yeah, no yeah, Hufflepuff yeah. fans. <laughs> Hufflepuff fans shouldn't come. Yeah. yeah. No. <laughs> okay, well we'll leave that out. Um, <laughs> and look, this is not this is a tried and and tested formula. Potted Potted's been around for what fifteen years. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. So it's not like you know this is just a new thing and we're wondering if it'll work. It you you've won you know the show's won lots of awards. It's been in all kinds of places, hasn't it? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, all around the world. They've been they've been doing it for years, and like plenty of different casts as well over that yes. time. We just happen to be the latest iteration of them, the Australasian version, <laughs> yeah, nonetheless. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure a fabulous development in the show's um, the show's evolution. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so you know it has won a lot of awards. People have been you know traipsing around, looking at it, enjoying it, laughing at it. I can't wait to see it. Mm -hmm. um, is this your first time um, performing in Australia? Yeah, for yeah. me. Yeah, yeah, it is. I've never, I've never performed in Australia before. I haven't been here since I was uh, eight, actually. So, oh, born in Brisbane, but yeah. I yeah. wouldn't consider myself an Australian, unfortunately. <laughs> but parents are Kiwis, so yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Um, yeah, I actually got the privilege of coming here with a show called The Arrival, which is based on a graphic novel by an Australian called Sean Penn. Um, and we toured here a while ago, I think it was back in 2010. Yeah. Uh, not to Canberra though, um, yeah. but we went to Sydney um, and I've, we've also taken it to Brisbane as well. Okay, oh, great. Yeah. Uh, well, get your woolies on, although you're from New Zealand, what am I talking about? You know, well, Canberra's well, pretty chilly. But... <laughs> Mm. Not, not like gumboots though <laughs> maybe not as chilly as um as new zealand um so yeah we're, we're really looking for i can't wait to see it i promise not to wear my sorting hat no um, do it please do it yes, 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 yes. Please. i'll be asking the sorting hat for opinions the whole show like what do you think sorting hat <laughs> <laughs> actually on that note do do um people dress up do some like do some of the yeah so it's not an uncommon so I, I wouldn't be out of place if no, I no, definitely not. Definitely. It's more fun to dress up. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. How often do you get the chance, really? Yeah, dress up. Yeah. As, you know. I'll give that some thought. So, to look, Stage Centre people, so excited to have the potted potter people on the line. We're uh, looking forward to seeing them in Canberra, but before that, Sydney people, please get to the Seymour Centre opening on the 22nd of June. Mm -hmm. Then it's Canberra, then you've got all kinds of other places. We've got Adelaide, Brisbane, Perth, you're just like everywhere. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm sure it will be a fabulous run. Mm -hmm. Tickets are available via all those venues uh, or on the website for Potted Potter and certainly on the Stage Centre app. You can have a look, uh, learn a little bit more about the show, uh, get some ticket links and those kind of things. We're very excited to be able to showcase Potted Potter on, on our platform and we'll certainly be telling everybody about it. Any final words, any Potted Potter classics that you want to end this little chat with? Well, it's COVID safe. Yeah. So, <laughs> it's belly armors. <laughs> <laughs> he's disappeared. He's That's gone. that. Yeah, he's well. <laughs> that was too much for him. <laughs> and I'm back. Yeah, he is. He's back. Amazing. Yeah. Well, that is a very good point, actually, because I, I did notice that the show has been adapted slightly to be COVID safer. Mm -hmm. uh, so, so if people have seen Potted Potter before and think that they know what's going on, mm. there might be some surprises. Definitely, always definitely. a few changes yeah. every night. Yeah. Every night something's different. And we, <laughs> you know, we our Austra Australasian version of it is also just a little bit unique in its own right as well. Ah, right. So dropping a couple of little a little teasers there for people. We'll have to wait and see what the guys are talking about. Listen, thanks very much. We know you're busy getting ready ready for opening. Wish you all the very, very best. I'm sure it's going to go fabulously well at the Seymour Centre. Everybody, please check out um, all the other dates for these guys. Don't miss it. Everybody could use a laugh right now, couldn't we? Um, never, never too much laughter. So all the very best. 
I look forward to seeing you guys in Canberra. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. Thank you. Thank you for having us. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Bye. 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 Bye.